this is Kendra Ellis. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I put together a couple of lessons for you this week so that you can have some fun activities that are interactive online in addition to doing your typing club which is typingclub.com and working on the higher levels now. We have spent a lot of time on home rows so you should feel very comfortable with those and I want you to go on and begin lessons after 20, basically after 23. So from 24 all the way to 50, you should be able to work on top row up to lesson 47. Beyond um, lesson 52 starts um, a different level of the keyboard, so we'll just work up to lesson 50 or 51 that finishes top row. And that should be enough for you to work on for the next couple of weeks. So, in addition to this, we are going to start by going back to one of your favorite activities. And I know you guys love this, and I want you to show your parents how this works as well. It's the hour of code. So, when we do our Google search, we go, we type in hour of code, and we hit enter. And basically, it takes us right here to the first site. Sometimes, remember parents, that sometimes ads appear. Don't click on those. Look for the actual website and click Hour of Code. And the first thing we're going to go to is the activities. Now, the kids have been working on this for a while, so they know how to use the website. However, if you'd like to learn a little bit about it, go to the how-to and watch the videos. Watch the vi how-to video on how the website works and become familiar with it. They know how it works. They've seen all the videos. If you, um, how to, let's see here. I'm not gonna be hosting an hour of code right now. But if you go to activities and you go to each individual game that they like, and for this week, have them pick one game and stick to that. Here is the original video that is a great tutorial because it goes through everything that they need to learn and step-by-step -step instructions, even though each game you play also has that. So for this week, I'd like you guys to start with write your first computer program at code.org and you click start and it takes you to the studio and there are instructional videos and basically it shows you everything you need to do. I want you to watch these videos and follow the steps. And once you've done that and you're comfortable playing around with the, the workspace and everything in here, you can go ahead and spend an hour. Pick one game, one game, Minecraft, Dance Party is one of the favorites, Flappy Bird, um, you can do the Frozen, and please watch all the videos and learn all the steps on how to properly code. I don't want you going in there and creating silly scenarios and I want you to follow the instruction and do the actual steps so that you learn the process of coding. Then you can spend some time playing around and having some fun. Remember that this is designed to be fun and interactive. Don't get frustrated. If you have any questions, you can always email me at sgandarillis at icsmiami.org. That's my email and I'll be more than happy to get back with you. So I hope you guys enjoy playing and spending time in Hour of Code. This is for fourth and fifth graders. If you have any questions, remember to send me an email and I hope you stay home and stay safe and I hope to see you soon because I really miss you guys.